Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back with my top five favorite movies of the year so far. We are at the halfway point of 2022 already, with the second half of the year starting today. It's July 1st. Usually, at the end of each year, or the beginning of the next, I rank my top five favorite movies of that year. I thought it would be fun to discuss my top five favorite movies of the year as of right now, though, and see if they change by the time 2022 comes to an end. Now, of course, in this video, I will only be showing movies I actually own on physical media and movies I've seen already. There are plenty of other movies that have already been released this year that I just haven't had a chance to see yet. So, who knows? Maybe they will make my final top five at the end of the year. Originally, I was going to show these in no particular order, but again, I thought it would be fun to see how this ranking compares to my top five at the end of the year. And so, here we go. My top five favorite movies of 2022, so far. At number five is X. This movie has gotten a lot of love already, and I reviewed it when it was first released. And while I maybe don't love it as much as everyone else seems to, it is a fantastic modern-day slasher directed by Ty West. It's definitely a movie I need to revisit again soon, to see if it ranks any higher. But for now, it's at number 5. At number 4, I have Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I have to say, as you might remember from my review of this one, I was blown away by this. I was not expecting it to be as good as it is. Of course, that's what happens when everyone is so negative all the time. This movie was getting hate before it was even released. Well, what can I say? I love it. And I've seen it a few times since that original viewing. In fact, as far as my TCM ranking goes, this is in my top three. But in my ranking of my top five favorite movies of 2022 so far, it's number four. Number three is Scream. A lot of people refer to this one as Scream 2022, or Scream 5. It doesn't matter what you call it. This is a fantastic sequel, or requel, as it calls itself. This, as a matter of fact, is how more modern-day sequels should be done. Scream 2022, for me, is sort of the equivalent of Ghostbusters Afterlife, which was actually my favorite movie of 2021. Both were sequels, or requels, made for the fans of the respective franchises. I honestly wish I could rank Scream even higher, but my top two are just so good. And my number two is The Batman. This is a movie for not only fans of the superhero, but for fans of horror films. The Batman went back to the roots of the character from Detective Comics. It's ultimately a slasher film featuring Batman, or... Batman in a slasher. It's like Saw or Seven meets The Dark Knight. How could someone like me not love it, even with that extended runtime of almost three hours? It was looking like The Batman was going to be my favorite movie of the year, until about a week ago when I watched something else. And that movie is The Northman. My favorite film of 2022, so far. From The Batman to The Northman, or The Batman to The Northman. Imagine if we called him Batman. Imagine if we called Spider-Man Spider-Man. Superman, Iron Man, the list goes on. But right now I'm talking about The Northman, my favorite film of 2022, so far. I reviewed this one just last week, after I got done watching it. It's the newest film from Robert Eggers, who also made The Witch and The Lighthouse. This movie covers a lot of bases as well, 
it's for horror fans, for fans of Game of Thrones and Vikings, and I'd say even for Star Wars fans. It's an epic cinematic experience, and I wish I could have experienced it at the cinema. I had heard so many amazing things, so this was a blind buy for me, and it was so worth it. I've spent much of my time since watching it, thinking about it, and anticipating watching it again. As of right now, halfway through the year, The Northman is without a doubt my favorite movie of 2022 so far. Will this top five change? I guess we'll find out as more movies are released and I see others I haven't watched yet. I'm curious to see how this ranking holds up in another six months. What do you think of my top five so far? Comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe.